We only got stuck once. You drive us to Duncan. Ah, yeah. So yeah, we're here at, on the point of one of our favorite waves, or the best wave in the world. And we always drive over here and there's crazy amounts of seal colonies. And we kind of noticed that there's like, some of the seals get um, all tangled up and stuff. And this guy, he's a local legend over here. And he's like, been dedicating his time to finding these seals and like, tackling them and, and cutting the nets and fishing string off of them and stuff. Um, so we're here to watch him do his thing and hopefully join in. And not get bit by a seal. Yeah. If we do, it's okay. Yeah, we're, we're just trying them. to help them. Hopefully they can feel that and they don't get all nuts. Okay, guys. They're gonna go. get nuts, for sure, but. We're here on Kayak Point. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking for a sea lion that looks like it has a bit of netting or string around it. There's so many dead seals on the point and it's like, just kind of crazy. I've seen some that had like some questionable bites on them. Like, oh. like shark bites or jackal something. Bites. Maybe jackal bites. But you think there's a lot of sharks here? I think there could possibly be a lot of sharks here. I think there's a lot. Hello! You have any friends that have fishing line around their neck? No? Okay, moving on. Please send word. We're looking for someone with fishing net around the neck or dorsal fin. Oh, look at a jackal. Oh, there's two. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, I found one. Oh, yeah, right here. Is it fishing see that? this right here? Where? Right to the left of this cruise ship, directly down. You can see the bunch of fishing line on it. Let's go talk to him. Okay, so we found we found one. It has like a big ball of string on the side. You can tell that it's getting uh, fully tangled. Um, but I guess we got to be super misto and like sneak up on him. Maybe disguise ourselves as seals, and then we gotta run up and catch him right before he gets in the water. Yeah, he went down towards the ocean a little bit that way. To the second cruise ship. Oh, they're scrapping. Yeah, you see it? This guy and this big guy, so we're gonna okay. dodge the big guy. These guys are all gonna. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh. So look at, we got this guy right here and he has a um, bunch of strings. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here oh and cut this thing free. Yes. You're free, buddy. Yes. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, get some more. We're fine. No way out. To the triple. Second spot. There you go, buddy. <laughs> You're free. Look at how psyched he is. Yeah. Good catch. That was epic. Good side. Yeah. yeah. That was so cool. So this is commercial fishing line. But a massive problem. I want to say like four and five rescues at the moment is this particular stuff We've got a huge issue. So it's the plan is now to raise awareness to try and curb this, get to the fishing industry. Tell ban them. ban See, this. There's no way that's going to, it's going to be difficult to ban it. Just educate people, show them the damage they're doing and yeah. uh, rather bring it home. Don't chuck it overboard. Yeah, so yeah. It'll eventually die once it gets it's well, It will suffocate because they grow so fast. He'll, he'll grow from like from like 15 pounds to like 45 pounds in one year. So as he grows, it'll cut into his skin, it'll choke him, cut into him, uh, and eventually like, see if his windpipe or he just won't be able to eat wow. anymore, he can't move. See his tangled around his back flippers as well, so yeah, he can yeah. really move well. Yeah. Now it'll kill him within a couple of weeks. Oh, and we saved him! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even wake up. These guys are still sleeping. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
There's the example oh. right here. Let's film that. Oh, oh my god. Oh my. So this is a perfect example right here, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. This guy's dumping the used line overboard, just seizing and taking it in and they just dump their used line in the ocean. Yeah. Plan is actually set up maybe some sort of like GoFundMe or something to actually buy old line off these guys. Oh okay. Just say listen, instead of dumping it, like offer them incentive or buy it from them and you set up like maybe a community project to do like basket weaving or something with the lines. Yeah. Create, like community upliftment too. That's cool. That's a good idea. Really good idea. That's a really good idea. That was so cool, you guys. 